Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite smoothies. So my kids love smoothies, we love smoothies. Um, it's a really great way to sneak in nutrients for my kids, which is awesome. I can also pack it with antioxidants. I can add in some really great omegas and fats and fun stuff like that. I also use my bone broth uh, protein powder. You guys know I'm a broken record about bone broth and now I have it as a protein powder, which I've actually been using for years now. Um, okay, cool. So this is my go-to smoothie recipe. Let's do it. So when I have fragile foods like bananas or berries and like mangoes, things like that, if they start over ripening or going bad too quickly, just freeze them. And this is a perfect opportunity to give these some new life. Frozen bananas. I also love using frozen fruit because it takes the place of ice cubes and keeps adding nutrients, flavor, and also that really awesome smoothie slushy that we want. So these are blueberries. I also have fresh blueberries, but because I want that smoothie consistency, I'm using my frozen blueberries. Okay, so this is spinach. A lot of times I'll swap this out with kale, but today I'm using spinach. I'll also freeze my spinach and kale to use for uh, smoothies. I'm gonna add a couple teaspoons of my omega oils, which I love. And then I usually use non-dairy milk. I'm using almond milk. So we're gonna do a scoop of protein powder. And now let's add a little bit of organic peanut butter. Flavor, really great fat. Peanut butter also really helps thicken it as well, which is awesome. Honey, because the blueberries can be a little tart and I have spinach in there, I wanna add a little bit of sweetener, especially if my kids are gonna eat this. I do a little, just a little something to sweeten it. Let's blend it up and check the consistency. If it's not thick enough, just add some ice cubes. That looks like a really good consistency. So the other thing too with this smoothie is all, like I said, I'll swap out the spinach for kale. I'll swap out the blueberries for strawberries or raspberries. Raspberries, you know, because they have so many seeds, just know if you're gonna use raspberries, you're gonna be chomping on some seeds. So usually I stick with blueberries or strawberries. Frozen mango, frozen mango is so good. And then I usually keep the banana. That's a pretty good consistency, so let's try it. Look at that. That's really good. Packed with nutrients, super refreshing during the summer. So yummy. It's actually a like perfect consistency. If you want it even thicker, add some more ice or add some more berries or whatever. If you want it thinner, add some more almond milk. I mean, this is, this is so good. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when I put up another one, and I'll see you guys soon.